Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to show you how to download and install the Axiom mod for Minecraft 1.21.3. Take it away. Yep, so the process for this is relatively simple. What you're going to want to do is open up your browser of choice. I will be using Chromium for this. And you're going to want to type in ModRin. Once you are on this page, just click the top result, ModRin.com with this logo and you just click on discover mods and you're gonna want to type in axiom once you agree and here it is already after you just type in ax so that is a shortcut to getting to this you will see that the image on modern is a bit broken but that's fine so um what we're going to do is we're going to click on versions and we are going to choose this one for fabric. We're going to click on it. And we are going to scroll down. It has a dependency of fabric API. What does this mean? Well, that's very simple. So here we are on the page for fabric API. What we're going to want to do here is just click on download. And we're going to download fabric api so right now we are on the download page for fabric api which is an api for the fabric mod loader which we will be installing later so we're just going to go over here and click on download and as you can see it is now downloaded it's a super light thing and what we're going to do here is just go back to steps to go back to axiom and we are going to go over to versions once again and click on the most recent one and make sure there are no other dependencies or optional dependencies and we are going to click download now while this downloads we also need to search up fabric minecraft which will take us to fabricmc.net so what you do here is just click download and download for windows and it will download the installer now we have everything we could need now there are multiple ways to access these files you could just click on them and they will execute or at least the fabric installer will you can also use the show and folder icon what i'm going to be doing is the slower but guaranteed to work way which is just going over to your file explorer and pressing on your designated downloads folder here you will see all free of the things that you have downloaded now what we're gonna do is click on the fabric installer 1.0.1 exe and we are just going to not change anything about this as this is already correct for the newest version of minecraft and we're gonna click install it will install lightning fast now we no longer need fabric installer and we no longer need this specific window as we're going to be using a more effective method of transferring mods folder to folder. So, what we're going to do here is since we no longer need our browser, we're just going to close it. And we are going to open the Minecraft launcher, which is a thing that we do actually need to be using at the moment. So while this loads, just remember about... The gifts that you wish to receive on Christmas, maybe write out your list for Santa. So remember, make sure you're on Santa's good list this year, don't be on the naughty list, you don't want to receive coal. And so, as you can see, your fabric loader-1.21.3 will be here. Now, you're going to want to click on installations, and you're going to want to go to this show and folder icon, and it's going to take you here. What you're going to want to do is click on mods and then you want to click on the downloads folder which will take us back here we select both of these files and we cut them and then we click this back arrow which will take us right back to mods then we right click the empty space and click paste so now now these mods are here and they are no longer within our downloads folder pretty cool right now what we're gonna do is super simple we're just going to launch the game 
Now while the game launches, remember to take out your candles, remember to pre-purchase some cookies and milk for Santa Claus to arrive, otherwise you will not be getting any presents this year. Okay, so now that we are in the game, you will see Minecraft 1.21.3 Fabric Modded. Now, what this means is everything up to this point has worked. Now, how do we use Axiom? Well, that's a really good question. We're just going to click on single player and we're going to create yet another new world. And I am just going to go into creative in a super flat void world. Now, once we've done that, we just click on create new world. This will be really fast as the world literally contains nothing. So what we're going to do here is very simple. Once you're in the game, you'll see this welcome to Axiom. It seems like this is your first time to access the builder, mo uh, builder mode menu. Hold left alt to open close the editor mode. Press right shift. Now. Uh, what we're going to do and what we can do here is just go through a quick introduction so that we actually know what we're doing. But what's the point? Where's the fun in that? So all we need to remember is to use left alt. And now we have this. Oh, yes. Force place bypass block placement restrictions. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because I have no idea. Some tools require a block to paint with or place. You can switch blocks by clicking on the icon. This is the main viewport. Left button to rotate the camera, right button to use tools. Control left button to use the arc ball camera. Scroll to quickly move towards slash away from a point. Axiom keeps track of block changes so you can undo and redo. This window shows those changes. Tip left click rewinds history right click looks at the change yes so if we select this what can we do with it operations we are going to replace it with this for example so what we're going to do is just uh, replace this with a different block type as you can see works pretty well you can change this to any block in the game as you can imagine obviously there are some things that won't work, like doors and stuff like that. So what Axiom is essentially at its core, it's a better version of, well, world edit. As you can see, we can just replace blocks. We have a lot of other things. We have box select and stuff like that. There's a lot of things you can do here to freehand select the lot and lasso select the ruler tools. There are ways to eat up the world, for example, like this, and distort it and make it glitchy in all kinds of fun ways. That's always fun to do. You can change the distances on these things as well and make everything look super cursed. And uh, yeah, that is the very, very, very basics of Axiom. Keep in mind, I don't know much about the mod itself. And there are way more qualified people to teach you about it than me. But I have shown you how to download it. So, yeah. That's going to be that. As you can see, you can also instantly play the abomination that you've created. Now, is this possible? Yes, it is. It is a parkour course. Yes, that is definitely what I was intending to build. And, uh, yeah. In today's video, I showed you how to download and install Axiom from Minecraft 1.21.3 in 2024. And also spread some Christmas cheer. Because we all need a bit of cheer in our lives sometimes, you know? We all need it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more daily Minecraft tutorials. And bye!